Hello guys, welcome to Tech Design. I hope everyone is doing great and in this tutorial we will talk about how to insert a sheet into a drafting workbench. So uh, basically in the last two tutorials we have discussed on master model concept as well as uh, you know part navigator how that behaves inside the uh, drafting workbench. So if you have not checked that video please go to my NX drafting uh, playlist and you can just uh, find out those two videos. So this is my third video on uh, drafting tutorial. Uh, so you can see here the simple you know sheet metal model I have just opened it uh, in order to show you how the uh, drafting works so in a, in order to go into a drafting workbench you can just uh, hit control shift D or else you can just go to file and uh, here is a drafting you can just click that so as soon as you enter into a drafting you can see this is the insert sheet uh, window so you just need to mention what type of uh, sheet you want and all the you know properties of the sheets here so use template as you can see here uh, the whatever the template we have here uh, we can use that or else if you have a standard size you can just mention you know see uh, the standard size here and if you want to customize the size of the sheet and you can just mention the height and uh, you know length here and then you can just go to uh, scale so now we can see here there is a scale so scale is one is to one so by default this will be one is to one uh, and whatever the you know after inserting the sheet whatever the views that you will take whether it may be a base view or a projected view or any kind of section view so all the views will have uh, the scale uh, whatever you will select it here so um, so if you want to change that uh, for a single view you can change it anyway but this is for by default for all the views uh, whatever you will select it here it will come into you know uh, application so uh, now uh, suppose if you have a big model and which will not uh, fit into your uh, you know drawing sheet then you can just go to for other scales so it is recommended always if your all the views are you know um, fitting into your uh, drawing sheet then you should you should not change into any other scales so now it comes to naming so naming it completely depends on you what naming you want to give for sheet in drawing and all as well as the drawing sheet name <coughs> so it is left to you so sheet number uh, which what is the sheet number so since this is the first sheet so uh, we have given it as a first and revision suppose if you have a multiple revisions and if you have uh, create creating if you are creating any you know um, sheet uh, sheet for uh, you know the sixth or seventh revision so then you can just enter it here and next it comes to you know uh, units so millimeter and inches so you can just select it uh, that depending on your uh, your requirement and you can see the projection so there are two uh, angle of projection so first angle and third angle by default the third angle will be selected because uh, this will be you know followed up by most of the uh, companies and most of the drawing follows the third angle uh, projection and next we have um, uh, what kind of uh, you know uh, wizard you want whether you want to activate a view creation wizard or a base view command uh, once you click ok so i will keep it as uh, you know view creation wizard either you can just uh, um, deactivate it as well okay once you click ok the view creation wizard will open and if you want to create uh, using views using this uh, uh, wizard you can just use this i'll just click, click cancel for this and uh, now you can see all the views are gone so this is how we can so you know insert a sheet and once the sheet is inserted that will come and uh, sit into here and you will have all the you know um, you know uh, whether you want to update the sheet or uh, you want to create a sketch or if you want to change the properties of the sheet you can just go to these things and you can just change it so this is all about uh, how we can insert a sheet and as well as insert the st sheets we also get uh, a borders and then uh, title blocks so we need to input a borders for this and also we have a uh, title block over on the you know bottom right corner so we uh, we can use that title block as well so when you are uh, inserting a sheet say for example i will just create an insert sheet and now uh, suppose if i go to use templates and uh, i'll just select a4 size and i'll just click ok so when you click ok uh, you know um, this uh, you know template will have uh, this title block so as you can see here we have a title block uh, and also the borders so these borders and title blocks will be you know and it depends on completely customization from the companies so they will you know depending on their requirement they will create in uh, sheets and as well as their uh, title block so you need to use them uh, by going to, into their uh, uh, add-ons 
so i hope you understand how that uh, insert sheet works so hope you guys enjoying my drawing uh, workbench uh, tutorials please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys